How do we heal a broken heart? Perhaps you have heard this before. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. But is this really so? Maybe it is, but it doesn't feel that way when we're going through a breakup, does it? None of us like losing anything, especially love. It's no fun at all. Breaking up with someone we care for and love doesn't feel good for a while. And we certainly don't believe that going through this experience is of any beneficial value in any way, shape, or form, regardless of what anyone says. When the heart breaks, the pain that comes from feeling unwanted fills our hearts and minds with resentment and grudge. The resentment and grudge that hovers around, they act like thorns and splinters, reminding us of all the dreams and aspirations that will never now crystallize. These hurtful sensations bring tears to our eyes in an automatic, unrestricted, and incessant fashion. And then, for some unexplainable reason, we still want them back, regardless of what they did to us. We just don't seem to be able, capable, or willing to let go. It's a total turmoil of our feelings and emotions. Once we calm down a little, we ask ourselves, now that my heart is scattered into all these tiny itty bitty pieces, where do I go from here? What am I to do with my feelings and all these memories that remain that I can't seem to let go? Well, let's find out what we can do to remedy the situation, shall we? Are you new to our channel? Welcome, this is Trends for All Seasons. Don't forget to provide us with your vital support by sharing, liking, and subscribing, and by watching our videos to the end. Going through a heartbreak is hard. Finding a way to heal it, that's even harder. Healing a broken heart takes time, and if we're constantly looking at the clock, as often happens whenever we want something, we don't quite want it to come to an end, time does seem to carry on ever so slowly. So the first goal for us is to stop looking at every passing second, minute, and hour, and to distract ourselves by doing anything of value that doesn't remind us of why we are looking at the silly clock in the first place. In doing so, we take that first step towards moving in the right direction to heal our broken hearts. It is well known that our energy and efforts will always gather in strength, depending upon where our attention and thoughts focus the most. And if all of our focus during a heartbreak is concentrated on feeling sorry, sentimental, and sad, then our sadness grows more and more each day, and that's not what we want here. Now, this doesn't mean we are to pretend we are not hurt, or for us to brush aside the fact that our world has been turned upside down. Our feelings are currently vulnerable and insecure. No, hiding and ignoring the fact that we are in pain is not what's recommended by many relationship field advisors. To properly heal our wounds, we need to acknowledge and understand the present circumstances and find a solution and a proper way to move on. We need to accept that our wounds need caring and for us to find the most expedient and effective ways available on how to best treat ourselves during our moments of vulnerability, weakness, and hurt. Many of us are extremely sensitive when it comes to matters of the heart. And if the healing of a broken heart is not done properly, some unwanted tenderness may remain. And guess what? That is something we need to avoid so we don't negatively affect our future relationships and loved ones that will have nothing to do with our missteps from our past. Our job now is to minimize the scars that will be left behind from this breakup, to go through our rehabilitation process accordingly, thus transforming ourselves into someone stronger than we are right now, and then be all ready to go once the healing is done. If you have trusted friends and family members that understand what you are going through, that's a useful advantage. You don't have to heal your broken heart all on your own. Let them assist you in keeping you intellectually, emotionally, and physically busy. Let them point out and remind you of the many great qualities you have and possess. Let them help you fill up your schedule with activities that are of your liking 
and at this beginning, do talk about anything that will pacify your days. To take full advantage of this transition, focus your attention on enjoyable entertainment and engage in plenty of activities that are especially new to you. There are so many things for you to try. Some of them may be simple. You could learn how to ride a motorcycle, or perhaps you prefer roller skating, skiing, or swimming. Try new habits and skills that may bring you long-lasting pleasure. Simple pleasures like learning how to cook, how to sing, how to paint, or even a new language. When your brain is busy learning something entirely new, it doesn't have time to go back to the past and dwell on what may be missing or dwell on what's no longer there. When you are immersed learning anything new and doing things of your liking, time will just fly on by. And as your mind keeps on working with these new possibilities, your heart will also come up with ideas of what it would like to do next. As you submerge yourself in these activities and as you interact with more and more people, all these new and constant interactions will bring you feelings of ease and excitement, replacing and superseding any longing and sadness that was lingering and hovering in the background. In your process of healing your broken heart, there are a few things you do need to remember and follow through. These are, refrain as much as possible from talking about your past relationship after your first couple of weeks. Abstain for a few months from going to those places that bring you back memories of that love, which is now gone. Stay as far away from the activities that used to be shared by you and your ex. Doing these acts will only exasperate or flare up the aches your tender heart is working so hard to overcome, accept, learn from, and forget. So do not make it more challenging than it has to be. And stay away from reading old texts, poems, letters, and messages, or from looking at pictures of your past relationship. If there are any of these before mentioned things that you really want to keep, do that quickly. Put them away in a place where you won't go looking for them anytime soon and discard the rest. Basically, what you want to do is you want to forge new beginnings and you want to look forward to new experiences when your time is right. Until then, anything that has caused your broken heart, all of it needs to be placed out of sight so it can be out of mind. Your plan is simple. Find things you have wanted to do for a while and start doing them now. Find activities that bring you fun, excitement, and rewarding feelings. Take a chance on doing anything you consider uplifting, engaging, and fulfilling. Dedicate your time to doing these things and you'll feel better before you know it. Wounds will heal. Your past will distance itself from the now and those sensitive memories you currently have, they will gradually faint away. The hurt, the pain, and the discomfort you now feel will dissipate, and your days will be replaced with peace, acceptance, and self-love. It's not easy at the beginning, but it does get easier as soon as you start focusing on the changes you need to make. So, is it better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all? Yeah. Experiencing what love is, it's a gift that few of us have ever had the pleasure or privilege of experiencing. If you can now see this challenging phase of your life as an opportunity to get to know yourself better, and if you understand that life from time to time will present some undesirable trials for you to overcome, then healing a broken heart may be one of life's lessons meant to be learned. Despite the heartache of some of your life's confrontations, when you search for the meaning hidden within those experiences lived, you may find that there's always a valuable lesson from which you can grow. This is how you heal your heart. You're already stronger, wiser, and ready to become a better version of yourself than some moments ago. Open up your arms to new experiences you can now readily explore and embrace your new changes, new seasons, and the new horizons you can now gaze upon.
Thank you for watching our video. Tell us which part you enjoyed the most and share it with our community in the section below. Check out our other videos regarding relationships that complement this message. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell to our channel, and we will see you back on our next video. Cheers!